Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I haven't had a chance to record everything because it was quite late last night when I started and uh, well, I couldn't really see nothing because it was just pitch black so I didn't bother recording so I ain't got a like, proper torch for the cameras or nothing like that. So yeah I'll just give you a bit of a quick update as you can see the engine is no longer in there. Uh, we've taken quite a lot off, we've got the exhaust, uh, just pretty much everything, drive shafts and typically everything was pretty much seized. Um, so a lot had to be cut, but don't need most of it anyway for the engine swap, so it's not the end of the world. A few bits we have to replace, but that's not an issue, it's to be expected. So I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you what has been done. So firstly, basically we just took the shafts out fully, but to do that we had to take the exhaust manifold off, so it was easier to get to some of the bolts, uh, some of the bolts, get a pry bar in behind the shaft, because they were a little bit stuck in. Um, Obviously, to do that as well, we had to loosen this. Now, if anyone's watching this, is planning on doing something like this, to save you having to take all of this off, unless uh, obviously you want to do it all straight away, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it rolling first to do some various other bits. Uh, you can get away with just taking this off up the top, um, rather than taking it out the bottom and splitting the ball joint and everything like that. So, yeah, it does make it a bit easier. The only trouble with that is without taking the bottom arm of this off the shaft won't actually pull through so I broke it just inside or just before the uh, it went inside the gearbox and then cut the rubber boot and pulled it out like that so that was easy enough to do on the other side I ever had to sort of I just pulled out and cut the end off because obviously a different shaft anyway different gearbox for the 18 so I had to do that and once they were out that sort of allowed you to reach everything else and the exhaust was off so it's just a case of taking the final few bits off I left the alternator and starter motor cables on until the engine was lifted up a little bit because they were a lot easier to get to that way the gear linkage there just unbolted from there but again I just cut the other one because it was a bit stuck and again that will all be changed because I want everything fresh anyway so it doesn't matter too much so yeah, it's just a case of where do I begin next? Is this where the fun starts happening? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna do a video on the engine being broken down. You know, seeing what condition it's in. You know, that'd be quite interesting to do for the mileage. Though I can't remember what mileage it was on. Definitely like over a hundred. I think it's like hundred and thirteen thousand, something like that. So it'd be quite interesting to see what the conditions like. So I'll probably do something like that help me learn a little bit as well so yeah it's all apart now it's just a case of doing little bits here and there strip some more of this a lot of this can come off uh, I'm sort of stuck whether to paint the engine bay first before I do anything else or do I do the whole underneath of the car first I'm not too sure yet we'll have to see see what I think might be best yeah, now we're getting there. So I just thought it'd be a bit of a quick update. Apologies for not being able to show you throughout the way, but a lot of it was done last night. It was dark. It didn't finish till about seven half seven. So that was a bit of a waste of time doing any recording there. So yeah, this was basically just a quick update, just to show you what has been going on. I might tie this in with another video, just that's a little bit longer for you guys to watch. Right. So today we're just cleaning the Fiesta. Uh, I thought it would be a good chance to use this, my Valet Pro, I've heard good things about it so it should be pretty good. Uh, it seems a lot stickier than the normal stuff I use, normally it would have just ran off by now. It just says to leave it on there for 5 minutes, that's what I'm going to do. See how that comes out, because I find a lot of the normal snow foam don't really bring the uh, dirt and grime off that well. So, yeah, whilst we're waiting for this to dry, or not dry, but dwell for 5 minutes. Um, we are planning on going to Honda Mims tomorrow at Santa Pod, so I'll continue doing a, a bit of video there tomorrow and hopefully speak to some people, maybe get a, a rundown pod in a couple of their cars, which would be quite interesting. See what they're like, you know, 
maybe there's some B18 Turbo EKs or something in there. Uh, but yeah, no, that should be good fun. Hopefully the weather holds out all right. It's supposed to be reasonable. But yeah, I'll show you what this turns out like once it's sat for a little while. Well guys, so I've literally just taken the snow foam off. Obviously gone over a sponge and uh, rinsed it. It's come out pretty clean. I literally haven't waxed it, polished it, nothing. Just, it doesn't look like it's going too, but it's supposed to rain pretty soon, so I didn't want to risk waxing and polishing. And then it started raining halfway through. Looks pretty dull over there. But as you can see, it's quite quite shiny. It's literally just a snow foam, nothing else. It's left quite a smooth finish. It's, it's quite nice. So yeah, I'm quite pleased. But it's a, it's reasonably pricey, but. For the finish that it leaves, it really isn't that bad. Hi guys, so we are here today at Mims. Uh, been here for about a half hour, just had a very quick wander about, see what's what, uh, see where it's good to record and whatnot. I just nipped back in the car to uh, basically record this because it's quite windy outside, so I didn't want you to be a bit muffled. Um, and there's also a lot of music playing through the speakers, so I don't know what that'll be like in terms of copyright strikes on YouTube and whatnot. So I just thought I'd quickly nip back in here, it won't take two seconds. So I just thought I'd do a brief intro. Uh, so yeah, they are running the strip today, which is good, because last time at Mims it was just pouring down with rain, so no one really got a chance to run. But I'll, uh, I'll show you as many cars as I can going down the strip. Uh, probably won't talk all too much, I will want to do an outro, but I'll try and avoid too much music and wind as I say. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. See you in a bit.